Yesterday I was at work. Uh, I'm a lawyer and um, I was in my office um, and my wife called me and told me I needed to go um, and that my dad had been shot. And so I rushed from my office to my dad's office. I mean, it felt like a dream all day, like just an unbelievable, like you can't even imagine something like that ever happening in your life. You know, a family member getting shot, let alone your dad getting shot. Like it's just, it was just a struggle all day to figure out what's happening. I've been critical in the past of the RCMP as an organization, but don't mistake critical of an organization as being critical of individuals. I have in the past been critical of certain members of the RCMP in the way they handle the Air India investigation. I mean, it's, I think it's anybody who's ever studied that investigation can see they had blinders on and didn't really know what they were doing. And I've been very critical of them in the past, but that's not who's doing this investigation. The people doing this investigation, I have full faith. They're properly trained. They know what they're doing. They'll find whoever did this. I have absolute faith in them. It takes a lot to hate. It takes a lot of energy to hate and to hate someone for 17 or more years and then to act on hate that I, I just can't imagine someone like that in the world actually exists. And it's just hard for me to fathom. And, and so I, I, I mean, I struggle to understand that someone like that could even exist. So I don't understand it. I don't believe it to be true. I think this must have some other, cause or motive or something i mean and again i don't know what that would be but i just can't see the two things being related